in the precious little time I have left out here tonight, I wanted to talk about the time to start a long fast. You see, your body does best when going into fasting, especially if you're a lesser experienced faster, <clears throat> when you come off a big insulin spike. So this is actually good news for those of you who are preparing to go on a really long fast, but you don't, you don't know when to start. Uh, your body responds well when you are coming off a big insulin hit. So let's say you go out to celebrate and you have a whole bunch of bad food and you get a huge insulin spike as a result. You go out and you pig out and you consume a lot of food. You eat a lot of candy. You eat a lot of junk. And then you turn around and you go and do a fast. That is actually ideal and is optimal because what happens is as your blood sugar shoots way high you're gonna feel not so great. You're going to want to decrease your activity, but your body has to make a lot more insulin to bring down blood sugar levels, but it does, for most of you, too good a job. So it's going to bring down your blood sugar levels rapidly. So as a result, you're going to have blood sugar that is potentially too low. So what does your body have to do? It has to make glucagon to keep it from getting too low. Well, that's perfect because now your body is going to stay in an undisturbed state of being able to fast. Don't eat anything else. Don't drink anything else until you need to. So you come off a big bender where you go out and you eat and drink too much. And then you go right into a water fast. It's easy or at least less hard. Your first day, your first 24 hours comes along and you're not even hungry. You don't even need to eat. You don't feel like you do. And then at the end, around the 24 hour mark, you say to yourself, hey, I'm kind of hungry. Well, you're already at a good start. So now if you just hold out four to six more hours, you're going to transition into your liver's going to be consistent. It's going to keep keeping your blood sugar high so you'll feel just fine. You won't feel terrible like you do. Some of you tease yourself by starting with eating small meals and then going into a long fast. It doesn't work because basically what you did was tease your body into producing insulin, but then you have circulating insulin. And that's what makes you feel bad on a long fast, is your body has all of this insulin floating around and it can't get rid of it. And your liver doesn't get the signal to turn on the glucagon, so that it's gonna raise your blood sugar. If you are about, to, if you're finding this channel and you're about to start fasting, that's great. Tank up and then start. Because a blood sugar hit, is really really good even if your blood sugar goes stupidly high it's going to come back down and then you're going to transition into fasting and it's going to be a little bit better experience especially if you're doing a 48 hour or 72 hour or 96 hour fast where you're trying to get you, you want to be as comfortable as you can you're going to get into ketosis a lot faster if you don't tease your body into into uh, teaching it to burn fat and that's exactly what it will do. It'll learn to burn fat because you'll have a big insulin spike, it'll come down, and your body will get the message that the food is gone and it is time for you to live off your, your fat reserves.